So today I'm going to be going over how you can overcome a low GPA in engineering. Now the first thing that I want to mention is that when you have a low GPA, then that doesn't always mean that you are a lazy person. I completely understand that. I have been there and I just I just want to point that out before we go on with the video. So I'm going to explain why I think that way in a couple of seconds. I wanted to make this video because I know that people, some people struggle with this and they don't, they don't know what to do because when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to engineering opportunities, uh, when it comes to interns, co-ops, or of course also like entry level positions in companies or firms, they have a cutoff. Usually the cutoff for engineers is 3.0. Uh, when you have above 3.0 on a 4 point, 4 point scale GPA, uh, you are automatically disqualified or not eligible for certain positions. Now, I'm not saying that this always is the case, but most companies in my experience and based on what I see online uh, have a cutoff of 3.0. If you have higher than 3.0 GPA, you are eligible to a lot more opportunities. If you are, some companies even look for people that have higher than a 3.5 or a 3.7 GPA. Uh, of course, that, that's all their decisions. They're private companies. They can do whatever they want. Now, what is a low GPA though? A low GPA, technically speaking, or generally speaking per se, is considered 2.0 and below, which is basically a C average. 2.0 is kind of equivalent to a C when you talk about four point, four point scale GPA. And, but engineering, engineering is a little different because if you have below, below at 3.0, you are considered, I consider that, as low because again because it automatically makes you not eligible to many opportunities uh, some people may ha may consider below a 2.7 or 2.75 a low gpa so it's a little subjective but in terms of today's video and for me a low gpa is anything below a 3.0 or a b average I'm talking about the united states education system, college system, of course. So as I was mentioning earlier, uh, just because you have a low GPA, it doesn't mean you're lazy. Uh, I myself, when I was in engineering school, I went through a period when my GPA in my junior year was a little rough. It was a 2.75 at some point after my first semester when I transferred from a community college to Virginia Tech, which was kind of a shock because my GPA when I graduated from my community college was a 3.5 or a 3.6. Long story short, the first semester in engineering school kicked my butt at a four-year university in Virginia Tech. And so I had to basically recover from that. And eventually I graduated with a 3.2 GPA, which I, <laughs> I worked very, very hard for that 3.2 GPA. And I am very proud to say that. So I definitely understand uh, being rejected from opportunities uh, the, after, after my first semester, I really didn't qualify for many internships or co-ops and no matter how many interviews I had and no many, didn't matter how many jobs I applied to, it was always, always very difficult. But, you know, I kept applying. Honestly, I just kept throwing my resume out. I kept putting myself out there. And that is perhaps, if anything, that is perhaps one of the biggest pieces of advice that I have for you. If you stop applying or just because you think that the doors are closing and just because you think that you're not eligible, like don't disqualify yourself. Keep putting yourself out there and keep applying and keep updating your resume and just don't give up. Just keep, keep pushing. Okay. Because that's how I personally got my opportunity. One day, uh, I basically got an email from a person saying, Hey, do you want to work for me? I have an internship. I saw your resume and I think it could be a great, a great fit. And so of course I said, yes, I am extremely interested. Eventually I ended up working for that organization when I graduated engineering school. So I am very grateful for how things worked out, but they wouldn't have worked out that way. Had I not kept applying, had I not kept putting myself out there, but that's not the only perspective or that's not the only tip that I want to give you in this video. I have a couple of other tips that I think are going to help you increase the chances of getting an opportunity, even when you have a low GPA. So the first thing that I want to mention here is that when you have a low GPA, don't deny it. Don't blame it on anybody else, because at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to 
to learn the material, to take the test, to show up in a school and learn what you have to learn. And for now, the education system is such that you have to take tests. So it is what it is for now. I'm not saying that it's always going to be this way. Perhaps it needs to be updated, but that's a subject for another video. For now, you have to own the GPA and acknowledge it and take responsibility for it. With that being said, the second thing that I want to mention here is that be honest with the people. Don't lie. Uh, don't tell recruiters. Uh, this is my perspective. Uh, don't tell them that something that didn't happen happened. Just be open and tell them exactly why your GPA is low. Perhaps you had a family emergency that you had to attend or perhaps you got injured or like I was mentioning earlier, or perhaps you are the one paying for your school one class at a time and you've been working too much and your school performance was affected. Uh, so be open and if you have the chance, of course, communicate that with recruiters and companies and hopefully that'll increase the chances of you being accepted or being given an opportunity. And along with that, I also want to mention that if you also focus on how you are recovering from a low GPA or what is, if you walk people through the process of you learning from your mistake and recovering from that struggle of getting a low grade somewhere that affected your GPA, I think that people will be understanding, you know, uh, as a recruiter, if I were a recruiter, I definitely would understand and would definitely sympathize with a person who for one reason or another had a bad grade or a couple of bad grades during a semester and but I could see that they are trying to get better they are trying to get their, themselves together so make sure you're open be honest and just tell the story how you got a low GPA but most importantly how you are recovering from that obstacle the third tip that I want to give you here is to network use your network you have no idea I can't emphasize enough how important your network, your network is going to be when you're an engineer. Uh, if you are new to the industry, of course, this is going to be a little harder, but perhaps if you are graduating from a school and you have someone out there, there's always someone out there. They just put your name out there, go to LinkedIn, go to Facebook, go to Snapchat, Instagram, and let people know that you are looking for an opportunity that you just graduated school. Or if you're still in training, if you're still in engineering school, let them know that you're looking for an internship opportunity because you never know who is watching. You never know who's listening. So if your goal is to get an opportunity, an internship, a co-op or an entry level position, make sure you let the world know and your network know because you never know again when something is going to come up the fourth tip that i want to give you here is focus on other aspects of your resume when you have a low gpa of course that's sometimes the first thing a lot of uh, recruiters look at or employers look at but if you also focus on providing a little more background on the courses that you've taken or perhaps any hands-on experience that you had in the past uh, Elaborate on that, make them focus, pay attention, make them funnel their attention, bolden the part of your resume, the hands-on experience that you had, or perhaps any type of relevant coursework or any other type of valuable skills that you have that you can bring to the table in order to make a company better. The bottom line is that when you apply for positions or uh, for opportunities in a company or firm or organization, it's gotta be a mutually beneficial relationship. You can't just be, you can't just tell them, oh, I want a job because I want a job or let them know the value and the skills that you bring to the table. And that's going to increase the chances of you getting that opportunity. And here I also want to mention that I have a video where I talk about how you can write a resume, how the basic structure should be and that, and a resume that is going to get attention a resume that is going to tell employers exactly what they need to know about you and so that you can increase the chances of you getting the opportunity so if you're interested in that make sure you click and the link in the video right now somewhere or you can look at the description of the video and you can go check it out the fifth tip along with the fourth one is to introduce yourself to companies or recruiters and if possible email them directly once you apply for a certain position or a certain opportunity 
uh, make sure you use a cover letter a cover letter again i made another video about that how you can write a very simple to the point but efficient cover letter and i'm gonna leave a link here in the description of the video or somewhere in the screen but it's important that you follow up with your application when you are applying for opportunities especially when you have a low gpa sometimes the computer automatically disqualifies you and so i think it's important to email the people if you can of course email the people that you think are going to be responsible for checking out your resume or the recruiters of a certain company and make sure you contact them directly and ask them for a reply and ask them whether or not they are interested in the skills and the value that you bring to the table of course again acknowledge your gpa acknowledge that it may be low however you have been working very hard to overcome that obstacle and that you learn your lesson and you're ready to put in the work to bring in the energy and be an asset to an organization and the bonus tip that i want to mention here is that if you have a good relationship with professors or we have a good relationship with somebody in industry someone that has experience in the engineering field or any field that you're trying to get into in our case of course engineering uh, ask them for a recommendation if you think that they value your work if they know you if you have if you have a good relationship with them and you are and they're confident in yourself and, and they, I'm sorry and they have confidence in you and they know for a fact that you can be an asset to a certain company or organization don't be afraid to ask them for a recommendation or ask them for a reference because believe it or not some companies do look at that and some companies do pay attention to the references that you give them and if it's a professor if someone that is with if it's someone that has experience on the field that's going to be in my opinion it's going to be a little more valuable than if you just your mom gives you a reference or someone or a friend you know so if you have a, that type of relationship with a professor or someone in industry make sure you leverage that and use it to your advantage so the bottom line guys is that if you are someone that has a low gpa for one reason or another make sure you own it you acknowledge that gpa is low but you also acknowledge the fact that or point out the fact that you are working on improving it and you learn your lesson and you are someone that is now in a much better place don't just tell people that show them all right so that's the video that i have for you guys today if you find it useful if you find it valuable make sure you like the video consider subscribing and if you have any questions if you have any comments just make sure you leave them below you can contact me directly through instagram or through youtube and with all that being said i'm gonna see you guys on the next one peace Thank you.